Skyview HDX incorporates a sophisticated, fully integrated communication radio system operated either through a dedicated remote control panel or through any HDX display. The system provides an intuitive user interface which includes responsive touchscreen capabilities coupled with tactile button and knob controls. Optimizing communication radio management and reducing pilot workload during all phases of flight. In contrast to standalone radios, Skyview's communication interface features intelligent frequency selection, enabling pilots to tune frequencies based on airport identifiers, station classifications, or geographical proximity, decreasing manual input and eliminating the necessity for lengthy frequency searches. This video lesson will explore the integration of COM radio features with various HDX menu pages. The lesson will focus on how these features enhance operational efficiency and mitigate the workload traditionally associated with legacy radio systems. Building upon previous HDX COM video lessons that address the core functionality and operation of the COM panel module and the HDX menu page. Most HDX users are familiar with what many consider to be the standard screen layout like the one shown here. As demonstrated in other COM radio video lessons, access to the COM radio menu page is accomplished by simply selecting or touching the COM radio status area on the top status bar. From this page, the radio can be directly tuned to desirable frequencies, but there are a variety of ways to use the integrated COM radio feature that don't involve directly tuning the radio. My favorite way to get nearby airport and frequency information is using the nearest button feature. Selecting NRST on the main menu bar will bring the user to the nearest page menu. From this page, there are several options that allow the pilot to push information to the COM radio. The airport or APT tab will be the default tab. This tab will present to the user all of the airports within a 75 nautical mile radius depending on the filtering the user has applied to the system database. I'd like to take a minute to remind viewers that by selecting filter on the main menu bar, the nearest list filter can be turned on or off. It is extremely important that pilots understand this filter and its effects on other system features, like emergency glide. For more details on this filter, refer to the HDX Academy lesson on the nearest feature. Getting back to our main topic, any airport on the nearest list that contains communication frequency information can be pushed to the COM radio. By selecting the APT to COM button, the airport identifier will immediately be displayed within the radio status bar and on the COM radio panel module if installed. Once the airport identifier is displayed, all available frequencies associated with that airport will be available through the rapid tune button selections on the COM menu page or on the remote COM panel module. Details on those features can be found in other HDX Academy lessons on the COM radio. The next tab within the nearest feature that will interface directly with the COM radio is the weather or WX tab. This selection will display a list of surrounding airports that are reporting weather conditions and still provides the opportunity to push the identifier of the highlighted airport to the COM. Once again, the APT to COM button is available on the main menu bar. When selected, the identifier will be updated on all displays within the Skyview network. Allow me to deviate slightly from our COM radio flight plan for just a minute to talk about the VOR tab that you see within the nearest menu. Without getting into too much detail, which will be covered in another HDX Academy video lesson, the VOR tab will bring up a list of nearby VOR or VHF omnidirectional radio stations. If your HDX system has been properly equipped and configured, you should notice that instead of the APT to COM selection, there is now a tune nav selection. As you might expect, selecting this will tune the nav radio to this frequency. As I mentioned, more on nav radios and how they work within the Skyview system will be covered in other lessons. For now, back to the COM radio. The next tab on our nearest page that integrates with the COM radio is the ATC or Air Traffic Control tab. 
The information presented here will be non-airport specific ATC frequencies or centers available. These ATC centers must be included within the official FAA Aviation Database, free for download from the Dynon website, and are within a 200 nautical mile radius of your aircraft or cursor position. Now, because ATC frequencies do not have an airport identifier associated with them, and centers may have multiple frequencies they are operating with, the users are presented with a main menu choice that simply states TuneCom. Selecting this will result in the ATC frequency being pushed directly to the standby frequency on the comm radio. After the frequency is displayed in the standby location, a swap or flip-flop action will be required to make the frequency active within the comm radio. From there, normal radio operations follow. The FSS, or Flight Service Station tab, behaves in the same way as the ATC tab. Station frequencies are pushed to the standby location on the comm and then require a swap or flip-flop action to make them active. And as with the ATC data, the Flight Service Station data is from the same FAA database and has the same 200 nautical mile range limit. Jumping back to our main menu, the next selection that integrates well with the comm radio is the info or information page. Selecting the info page will present the user again with several tabs. And just like the nearest page, the airport tab or APT tab will be the default. Highlighted on this page is the airport identifier. Typically, the default identifier is the last airport that was searched. From this tab, the user is presented the standard APT to COM selection on the main menu bar. If any of the information windows are highlighted and the APT to COM button is selected, the airport identifier will be pushed to the COM. For information on how searches within this page are completed, please refer to the HDX Academy video on the info button. To the left of the default APT tab is the recent or RCNT tab. Under this tab, users can quickly highlight any airport listed, and as long as the APT to COM selection is available, push the airport identifier to the COM radio. And as I mentioned earlier, if your system is properly equipped and configured, the Tune Nav option may be available. What you won't find here is ATC or center frequencies. The COM tab within the info page presents the user with quick access to COM radio frequencies for the airport displayed in the airport identifier bar. Because the actual frequency is displayed, the user is provided the Tune COM menu option. Highlight any of the displayed frequencies, either through a touch action or using the knob. Then just like in other examples, select Tune COM and this frequency will be pushed to the standby location on the COM radio. A quick swap action and the frequency will be active. I'd like to point out a little bit of caution here, as tuning a radio frequency in this manner does not push the airport identifier to the comm. Therefore, the tower, ground, and other rapid tune buttons on both the comm menu page and the comm panel will tune frequencies to the airport identifier that they are currently displaying and not the airport of the frequency you have just pushed. Back to our info page and the COM tab. You may have noticed that some frequencies displayed have a solid diamond next to them. This indicates that there is additional information available regarding that specific frequency. If the frequency with the diamond next to it is highlighted, a diamond menu choice will present itself on the main menu. Selecting this will present the user with an additional page of information specific to the frequency at that airport. This information is obtained directly from the FAA airport database that was downloaded from the Dynon website and then loaded on the HDX system. While within this information page, the user can push this frequency to the COM standby by selecting Tune COM. To exit this page, select the arrow on the screen or on the main menu. As you may have noticed, anytime APT to COM or TuneCom is displayed on the main menu, 
the airport identifier or frequency can be pushed to the comm. This same feature function is also available when airport identifiers are displayed on the flight plan page. Here I have a flight plan displayed and you will notice that on the main menu the APT to COM feature is available. By highlighting any of the airports on the flight plan, whether they are active within the flight plan or not, and selecting the APT to COM button, the airport identifier will be pushed to the COM. Pilots can now select any of the rapid tune buttons available on the COM radio page or the remote COM panel module. Thanks for watching this HDX Academy video on the expanded ways the COM radio interfaces with the HDX system. I'd like to think we have shown you how the HDX system provides an intuitive pilot experience with touchscreen, tactile buttons, and rotary knobs for managing the COM radio. These inputs give the pilot the best of both worlds by reducing pilot workload in demanding flight phases and by simplifying radio operations compared to traditional radios. Be sure to hit that subscribe button now to give you quicker access to new lessons when they arrive.